how I made these bluey and bingo cutouts for my son's second birthday party. So first off, I got these off of my local Buy Nothing group, but you could always print a poster at your local CVS or Walgreens or even Staples, but they had honey, muffin, bingo, and bluey. So I already did bluey, so let's do bingo. So I put a foam board from the Dollar Tree over the back of it, and then I cut it with this little X-Acto knife, and I used those foam pieces to stick it on. With the extra foam board I had, I made these triangle pieces, and then I just took a bunch of hot glue, like the extra generous, and I just put it all along the biggest edge of it to kind of give it a little stand to prop itself up on. So like I said, add a lot of hot glue to that, find the best spot to do it and stick it on there. I had it for about 30 seconds and that's basically how I made them. But you can always print them, like I said, at CVS or your local Walgreens in poster size. I'm going into the range for a very specific thing. Don't let me buy anything else. I've moved the whole shop around and now I'm stressed and have the noisiest basket. Okay, they don't have all of it. Do they? Right, let's see, we've got the bluey tablecloth. Some party bags. <laughs> don't have the bluey plates, that's what I wanted. They have bluey napkins. We can make that do with some blue plates, can't we? If your kid loves bluey, stop scrolling. Look at all these party goodies. Table covers, party bags, napkins, cups, bowls, everything you need for a bluey party. And it's in the range now. Miren qué hermosos fondos de Halloween me encontré.
Because we have three little kids and our neighborhood is filled with little kids, our house is spooky without being frightening. Last year, I painted Bluey and Bingo in Halloween costumes. We put brackets on the back so they would just slide onto rebar that was mounted into the ground. And there are such cute additions to our Halloween decorations. Okay, from now on, no one makes any more promises. But you promised you'd always love us! Whoa, I didn't think this... How I made these Bluey and Bingo cutouts for my son's second birthday party. So first off, I got these off of my local Buy Nothing group, but you could always print a poster at your local CVS or Walgreens or even Staples. But they had Honey, Muffin, Bingo, and Bluey. So I already did Bluey, so let's do Bingo. So I put a foam board from the Dollar Tree over the back of it, and then I cut it with this little X-Acto knife, and I used those foam pieces to stick it on. With the extra foam board I had, I made these triangle pieces. And then I just took a bunch of hot glue, like be extra generous, and I just put it all along the biggest edge of it to kind of give it a little stand to prop itself up on. So, like I said, add a lot of hot glue to that, find the best spot to do it, and stick it on there. I had it for about 30 seconds, and that's basically how I made them. But you can always print them, like I said, at CVS or your local Walgreens in poster size. Hey, hold on, let me kiss again. I'm going into the range for a very specific thing. Don't let me buy anything else. I've moved the whole shop round and now I'm stressed and have the noisiest basket. <laughs> okay, they don't have all of it. Do they? Right, so we've got the bluey tablecloth. Some party bags. I don't have the bluey plates, that's what I wanted. They have bluey napkins. We can make that do with some blue plates, can't we? If your kid loves bluey, stop scrolling. Look at all these party goodies. Table covers, party bags, napkins, cups, bowls, everything you need for a bluey party. And it's in the range now. You're not going through the park, are you? Yeah, why? Oh, there's a magpie protecting his nest. Oh! Ah, look out! What is it? Whoa! Whoa. Stop making us dance! Whoa. an event. Here we are in all of our costumes. I was still finishing up Bandit's legs up until an hour before the event. I forced myself to stop because I knew that the paint had to dry before my husband wore it, um, but it turned out pretty good. Here's a photo of us wearing them at the event. We went to a trunk or treat and we had so much fun. We really enjoyed wearing these costumes. One thing that I didn't realize until after I put on my outfit was that my patches don't match. So this stomach patch was the very first thing that I painted out of any of the costumes. And then I did the arms and legs later. They were one of the last things that I painted. And the stomach is a bit more yellow than the arms and the legs. But I think it's okay. I don't think I'm going to change it before actual Halloween because it's not that noticeable. Here is my cute little Bluey. I know the shoes kind of throw it off, so just ignore them. But look at how cute it is. Here is Bluey's back. I decided to not do the tails. I think it turned out really cute without them. And I just didn't think that we really needed them. But if you're wanting to know how I was going to do the tails, what I was going to do was get a sock and then dye it and paint it kind of like how I did with the rest of the costumes and then fill it with polyfill and just sew it on or even just safety pin it on. We were in a rush, so I didn't get a 360 video of all of our outfits, but I will post one on Halloween when we dress up again.